Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am friend Shai Pearson, and welcome again to my channel. It is August 28th of 2024, 819 in the AM. Happy Wednesday, and let's say it together. Praise our God from whom all blessings flow. Trump team clash with officials at Arlington National Cemetery. The military cemetery said in a statement that federal law prohibits political campaigning on the grounds and that there was an incident and a report was filed. Here you have Trump. He was there yesterday on August 27th of 2024. Donald J. Trump during a reef laying ceremony on Monday at Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia. Yesterday, this went down. People, when I found out about this, I'm telling you, my heart dropped. Matter of fact, my heart sank. Because the first thing I thought about was JFK. JFK is buried at National Arlington National Cemetery. And the reason why my heart sank and sunk and I went through emotions this morning is because back in the day, JFK had went to Arlington National Cemetery on the 11th of November of 1963. And 11 days later, he died. People, if you don't think that the powers are playing out something in front of us, I would say, think again, allegedly. Look, I'm just going to say it. I believe they're playing something out in front of us. They're going through the same steps or similar steps that JFK went down. You know that Trump loves JFK. You know his wife reflects Jackie Kennedy. Let's move forward. Additionally, we're learning about an incident that took place when former President Trump visited Arlington National Cemetery for a wreath-laying ceremony on Monday. NPR was the first to report that two Trump campaign staffers had a confrontation with a cemetery official who tried to prevent them from filming. Trump campaign spokesman Stephen Chung denied portions of the report, saying that no physical altercation occurred, adding that the campaign would be willing to release footage, but that an official had tried to physically block members of the former president's team during the cemetery. Arlington National Cemetery later put out a statement confirming an incident took place and a report had been filed. The statement reads in part this way. Federal law prohibits political campaign or election related activities within Army National Military Cemeteries to include photographers, content creators or any other persons attending for purposes or in direct support of a partisan political candidates campaign. Now. I want to show you a picture that struck me after that. It was this one. There are 19 people in this photograph. 19. 19 means chaos. If you remember what we had in 2019, the C word, that causes chaotic behavior. I'm going to say it again. You got to read between the lines. What happened in 2019 around the world? That causes chaotic behavior. So there are 19 people. That means chaos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 people. If you don't see it, got a lady behind there and one there. It's 19 people. MSNBC, you can put it in there yourself. Trump campaign staff had altercation with Arlington National Cemetery staff. MSNBC, it just came out two hours ago this morning. Now there's some other things that came out. Let me show you. Notice where they're standing. No disrespect, but I want you to look at the names. Andrew Christian M-A-R-C-K-E-S-A-N-O. Keyword Andrew. And here's the other one. Darian Taylor Hoover. That stood out, and I'm going to show you why. It stood out to me. God rest his soul. But just like a lot of photographs with Trump, 
there are speaking allegedly red and black red and black what is red and black people that's called sacrifice red and black people if you don't think trump is going to get hit soon like he was on february 13th think again it won't be him it's going to be a substitute or a dummy they need to cause chaos as they take us into the one world system it's the alleged prince let's go crazy let's get nuts that's what i'm predicting they have on red and black do you understand what you're looking at people it's deep you're going to keep giving us signs like i say jfk is buried there and jfk went to Oliver national cemetery 11 days later boom he was popped in dallas texas now watch this and i'm saying next month is it that's what i'm saying for trump he's done now watch this here they use the word confrontation confrontation comes out the 164 in ordinal gematric calculator 164. the 164th day of the year is june 13th if it's a leap year it's the 160 165th day june 13th all right june 13th trump was born june 14th how accurate can you be when it's a leap year is june 14th do you understand what you're looking at june 13th 164. gematria calculator 164 for confrontation they had a confrontation 164 leap year is 165. that means june 14th how in the world did this come out to trump's birthday why does confrontation mean june 14th and that's trump's birthday somebody say come on man and look at this they also had the word altercation. Altercation comes out to 46 in reduction. Why do I bring that up? 46 is death and destruction. Bo Biden, Joe Biden's son died at 46. JFK died at 46. JFK died at 46. George Orwell died at 46. And George Floyd died at 46. But yes, look, at 46 years old, JFK died. People, if you don't think this thing is copycat, think again. June 30th, 1835. We're going to go into the names here because we saw certain names in the graveyard. Remember I showed you. Andrew, to me that's Andrew Jackson. And Hoover, President Hoover. Watch this. We have what happened to him. Jackson was uninjured in his first known attempt assassination of a U.S. president. See that there? June 30th, 1835, an illustration depicts an assassination attempt on President Andrew Jackson as he arrived at U.S. Capitol building. Jackson had what? An attempted assassination. Isn't that something on his life? I'm going to write this down because I forgot, I forgot to put these dates. I'm going to see if I can find something. 1-30-1835. Isn't that something? Wasn't, uh, wasn't that Trump involved in attempted assassination? You know he was. So let's look at something right quick. See if we can see if we can figure something out. Okay, so we're gonna take 130 one thirty of eighteen thirty five. Let's go back. Eighteen thirty five from seven thirteen twenty twenty four. So that means exactly 
189 years, five months, one week, and six days ago, Andrew Jackson had an attempted assassination. That separates Trump's assassination date, his attempted assassination date of July 13, 2024. Now, what if we bring the numbers close? Let's say to 2023. And then make it 2024. It's 165. Nothing there. 623, nothing there. Well, that makes it 2-2. Two, 2-2 two. Two, two is chaos. If we drop to zero. Okay, let's go here. Let's go forward. So we had that. So they, they, they had that in common. Both Andrew Jackson and Trump had what? An attempted assassination. What are the odds that that... They would stand in front of both those birthstones. And look at here. Andrew Jackson served from March 4th, 1829 to March 4th, 1837. So let's take March 4th of 2020 of 2017. Why? Because Trump became president January 20th of 2017. The difference is 44 days. Drop your mouth. 314, Andrew Jackson was president. We bring it up to modern day numbers, 2017, because Trump became president January 20th of 2017. The difference is 44 days. Who was the 44th president? Barack Obama. Now, we also have a Hoover, a Hoover on a gravestone at Arlington National Cemetery. What happened with him? He served from March 4th of 1929 to March 4th, 1933. Why is that important? 1929 is when the Great Depression hit. The Great Depression. Why am I bringing it up? Because Trump said when he was in New York, just before he went to the courtroom, he says if he don't become elected, there's going to be a stock market crash just like the 1929 depression. Remember he said that? I did a video on it. Google it. Now look at this. JFK gravesite. Remember I told you? JFK went to Arlington National Cemetery on November 11th of 1961. And November 22nd he was shot to death. Do you think they're re repeating the same scenario? It's deep. And look at this here. It's about the tomb of the unknown soldier. That's why presidents go there. The tomb of the unknown soldier. Arlington National Cemetery. They always lay, lay a leaf. This started back in the day, November 11th of 1921. November 11th. Take November 11th, bring it up to date of 2024. Subtract it from Trump's birthday, 614 or 2025, his next birthday. The difference is 216. 216th day of the year is what? August 4th, Barack Obama was born August 4th. You think, that ain't, you think that ain't deep? It's deep. 11-11-2024, subtracted from Trump's birthday, 6-14-2024. The difference is four months and four weeks. Who is the 44th president? Barack Obama. It's deep, y'all. It's deep. I'm telling you. You think they playing out other scenario again? 11-11 of 2024, subtracted from 827, the day that he tried to, he tried to lay the reef and it was confrontation. The difference is 222. And you know what 222 is. Let me show you in my calculator, my, my phone, phone history. 222 is this. Don't you ever forget it. The Antichrist, Barack Obama. The Beast of Revelation, 222. Antichrist system, 222. Look at that. 222. Two, two. This is bad. It also means beast. 222. 1111. Two. Eleven. That's the day they lay a reef of the unknown soldier in comparison to the day that Trump was just there, 827. 222. Two, two. And look at this. The day that Trump was Arlington National Cemetery, 827. 
subtract it from 1122 or 2024, uh, which is what? That's the anniversary date of JFK being killed in 1122. He, he got killed in 1963. We bring it up to date, 2024. The difference is what? 88 days. Trump's text number is 88022. Is that coincidence? Now this is deep. JFK's grave in Arlington National Cemetery. He's next to two Kennedy infants, lot 45. Lot 45. Who was the 45th president? That would be Trump. You mean to tell me JFK is buried in Arlington National Cemetery? Yes. And he died 11 days after he visited there? Yes. And it's lot 45. And Trump is the 45th president. It's deep, baby. 827 is when Trump just went there yesterday. Subtracted from 11-5, which is election day coming up. The difference is 10 weeks, 10 weeks. In Roman numerals, 10 is what? 10 is X. Will Trump be X soon? And last but not least, 827, the day that Trump went there, they had the confrontation versus 1020. That's the birthday, the last birthday we just had of um, Kamala Harris. The difference is 44 weeks and four days. Four, four, four. That reminds me of Jay-Z, who wore a crown like thorns on his head. No soul in those eyes, right? And then four, four, four. Two fours make eight. That's August and then four. Who was born August 4th? Barack Obama. People, I believe this is convincing enough or enough to make you think. And this picture, they say pictures speak a thousand words, a thousand and one. Tam stamp this video. He will be gone soon. To me, to me, this had nothing to do with a confrontation. It had nothing to do with uh, the history of whether or not they could film, film there or not. It had everything to do, in my humble opinion, Andrew Jackson had a attempted assassination on him. And Hoover, under his administration, the Great Depression. It's coming, people. And the red and black is speaking. Red and black is sacrifice. Is sacrifice. He will be sacrificed. And America is symbolic in that. And it's 19 people, which means chaos. People, I'm trying to decode it and get you ready because they want chaos. I am praying, you guys know in my videos I've been saying, I am praying that Jesus comes soon because we don't want to be here doing this uh, this, this, this uh, depression that they're going to bring us, that they're going to bring around the world. But we, we might have to deal with this assassination attempt allegedly. I believe everything is, they're telling us people, they're telling us. I said they're telling us. You might not believe this, but hey, to me, they're telling us. They create these scenarios, um, allegedly, to give you a clue. And hey, I believe I just broke it down to you. My name is French I Pierce. If you like the word, thumbs up. Please share the video and help me out. Uh, just go in the comment section of some old videos. Just scroll back, go to some old videos. Go in the comment section and type five or ten people and say, hey, please subscribe to French Shot Pearson. I mean, to French Shot Blue, French Shot Blue. Because a lot of my, a lot of people are saying for over a month, they're not getting notifications, okay? That way we can fight back. I plan on keep doing this ministry and let people know about the last days because Jesus is coming soon. John 3, 16 said it. Yep. <sighs> Look, this is the time. The time is at hand. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, that whomsoever believe in him shall not perish. Shall not perish, red and black, but have everlasting life. Do you understand? God bless you, and may he welcome you into the kingdom. He will. Give him your heart.
because he gave you his life. Hallelujah.